Now we'll go into more detail about implementing Photo Room into your internal image editing process. Imagine huge marketplaces like Depop or Valuance. Imagine they try to help their sellers improve their conversion rate by giving images a quick makeover before they're listed for buyers to browse. So before sellers can post their listings, they send them into Depop or Valuance and they perform a simple image edit before they're listed. First, remove the background because the seller took it on their bed not super professional. Second, center the image because it looks strange when you're browsing hundreds of square centered images for one or two to be in the, the corner or to the left. Third, put the image on a clean white background so the cognitive load on the shopper is reduced for easier decision making. Fourth, add a shadow so the image doesn't look strange floating on a white background. Notice here, none of these AI powered edits actually change the product you're buying. They just improve the way it's presented to you. Picture getting the same food on a very clean shovel. Bruh. I, I know, stick with me here. Or getting it on a plate. Same food, same chef, different presentation. Because presentation matters. I don't want my food on a shovel, thank you very much. Now, imagine one of these companies needing to edit millions of images for thousands of sellers. What are they gonna do? Edit them all manually in Photoshop? Nope, impossible, and it wouldn't be worth it. So they need well-presented products, but they can't edit them manually. So they create a digital process to do it for them. And that's where Photo Room comes in. It can be a very sophisticated process where the Photo Room API slots in, but it can also be as simple as drop 100,000 images into a Google Drive folder named before Photo Room. That could then trigger a connection with the Photo Room API, API contact initiated. Whatever combination of requests will then begin to play out like steps in a factory. Remove background, center image, add clean white background, add a shadow, then drop 100,000 edited images into a Google Drive folder named after photo room. This means the internal process of editing product images goes from lots of humans sitting editing images to one human dropping files in a folder and waiting for the magic to happen.